2018 Mercedes-Benz AMG GT review. The good points of Mercedes-Benz AMG GT. Looks fantastic. Great engine. Involving handling. Clever chassis tech. The bad points of Mercedes-Benz AMG GT. Tough rivals. Expensive. Some interior quality. Small cabin. The stunning machine the thing is before you will be the Mercedes AMG GT Coupe. It looks great, but it really will need to do better than that. Its main rivals will be the Porsche 911 Coupe, Audi R8 Coupe along with the Jaguar F-Type Coupe, all incredibly capable and highly entertaining sports coupes. There are four versions to be had, the normal GT, faster GTS, even quicker GTC and range-topping hardcore GTR. Big engine, big power. The basic recipe looks great. Power comes from a 4.0-liter, twin-turbocharged V8 petrol engine to all versions. It develops 476 horsepower and 630 newton meters of torque to use lower GT state of tune which suggests 0 to 62 miles per hour flashes by in 4 seconds flat. This version is electronically restricted to 189 miles per hour. If that's too few, the GTS uses the identical engine appeared to 522 bhp and 670 newton meters. That means 0 to 62 miles per hour in 3.8 seconds and also a top speed restricted to 193 miles per hour. The GTC gets 577 horsepower and 680 newton meters for 0 to 62 miles per hour in 3.7 seconds and efficient at 197 miles per hour. As you move the GTR gets 585 horsepower and 700 newton meters, hitting 62 miles per hour in 3.6 seconds which has a top speed of 198 miles per hour. Basically, this can be one seriously fast car. Focus on handling. For optimum handling balance the engine is found behind the top axle, which technically helps it be a mid-engine configuration. The weight distribution is ever so slightly rearward balanced since regarding the car would be the 7-speed twin-clutch semi-automatic gearbox, which sends power by means of the rear wheels. Making sure each of the grunt gets to the asphalt there's a locking rear differential to make certain stable predictable cornering along with a three-stage stability control system that allows for varying degrees of wheel spin before electronic intervention. Mercedes is rolling out a highly sophisticated suspension setup produced from its motorsport activities and, along with derived nowadays, drive modes to help you instantly tweak the auto's characteristics for your requirements. It's called AMG Dynamic Select and offers you the use of controlled efficiency, sport, sport plus and individual. There's another manual function for that gearbox that permits the driver full control while using the paddles mounted behind the tire. Upgrading to your Mercedes AMG GTS Coupe. Customers plumping with the GTS model obtain fair share more kit. The alloy wheels are slightly wider at the top and 1 inch bigger at the trunk, measuring 20 inches in diameter. There's an electronically controlled differential for additional accurate cornering. Adaptive suspension to tune the automobile's character more specifically to your task at your fingertips and larger brakes. The brake calipers have red lettering around the GTS, as well as the other strategy to spot one could be the black front spoiler, its body colored around the GT. Faster and wider, the Mercedes AMG GTC Coupe. Introduced in 2017, the GTC is 57mm wider than lesser models making room to get a wider track and wheels for better traction. It also features rear wheel steering as standard in addition to alloys which might be 19 inches wide at leading and 20 inches at the spine. We think this version may be the best from the lineup for fast road driving. The GT are below is impressive within the race circuit, but too hard edged for road use. Ultimate performance, the Mercedes AMG GTR. Available only like a coupe, one other versions might be orders like a Roadster 2. The GTR represents the very best that AMG offers for driving enthusiasts.
It was introduced in conjunction with the C in 2017. It uses technology borrowed through the firm's racing cars, including active aerodynamics and wider still front and back track widths. You'll also spot one out of a crowd of GT coupes by its carbon fiber roof, yellow brake calipers and AMG bucket seats. Compact AMG interior. The cabin itself includes a wide central console, but it really isn't cluttered. Rather you will discover selected buttons situated about the roof as an aircraft. The multimedia product is familiar using their company Mercedes products and it is based across the command system, having an 8.3 inch screen to come up with information. As standard you additionally get sports seats along with a sports steering wheel which has a flat bottom. The paddles for shifting gears are manufactured from aluminium, to remind you this really is a premium product. You'll notice a liberal smattering of AMG badges for a similar reason. As will be the norm with Mercedes vehicles, a suite of safety systems is usually on board. The verdict. No matter which version you ultimately choose, the GT Coupe is undoubtedly an exciting race car with the looks to complement. It's harder edged versus the equivalent 911 but probably fractionally more exciting on top of that, and stacks up well against similarly priced F-types. Mercedes AMG GT Coupe Review We Val Watchy talked about this engine within the C63 area of the Mercedes-Benz C-Class Review, so it's no real surprise Mercedes AMG GT Coupe performance is impressive, regardless which version with the turbocharged 4.0 litre V8 engine going for. Upon launch there have been two models, the GT with 460 horsepower and 600 newton meters, making for 0 to 62 miles per hour in 4 seconds with top speed of 189 miles per hour, as well as the GTS, which have 505 horsepower and 650 newton meters. This meant 0 to 62 miles per hour in 3.8 seconds and 193 miles per hour flat out. Facelift for 2017 The range was reshuffled in January 2017, with additional power to the two base models and also a further two specifications introduced on the upper end, GTC and GTR. Mercedes AMG GT Coupe This base model has 476 horsepower and 600 newton meters of torque, which can be available from just 1,600 revolutions per minute lasting until 5,000 revolutions per minute. That means that not only will this coupe can accelerate from 0 to 62 miles per hour in a mere 4 seconds, nevertheless it's incredibly flexible in gear 2, so that you don't need to constantly swap ratios with the 7-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission. You'll happily achieve this though, since extending the hand-built V8 past 5,000 revolutions per minute is definitely an oral treat, particularly when lifting from the throttle to permit the revs die down and being bombarded from the pops and bangs in the dual exhausts. Especially with all the active exhaust systems set to its louder position plus the AMG Dynamic Select in the most aggressive mode. Mercedes AMG GTS Coupe The AMG GTS has an extra 47 horsepower in the standard AMG GT, plus another 50 newton meters of torque. The latter is developed over the slightly narrower power band, between 1,750 revolutions per minute and 4,750 revolutions per minute, whilst the former is transmitted towards the road at 6,250 revolutions per minute rather than 6,000 revolutions per minute. It feels every inch as powerful as those numbers suggest, having an official 0 to 62 miles per hour duration of 3.8 seconds plus a 193 miles per hour electronically limited top speed. The standard car tops out at 189 miles per hour a planted throttle can be an oral wall of VA trumble, a deep chested sound not augmented by sound symposers like some rivals, which feels more old school than you will be expecting. Turn away from the stability and traction control systems plus the AMG GTS, and standard GT, will happily leave its mark around the tarmac under full throttle starts, also it feels every inch the junior supercar hot rod in the acceleration. Mercedes AMG GTC Coupe This may be the best model for performance road car fans. 
It has 557 horsepower and 680 newton meters for 0 to 62 miles per hour and 3.8 seconds. But around the road, any additional torque offered means it feels far more flexible during normal driving. Mercedes AMG GTR. At the feisty end from the spectrum with the GTR, which Mercedes states is a racing car for road use. On the trail we found it's hyper-responsive plus a little unruly. The traction control light was illuminated for merely the entire time I was driving. The GTR definitely works better about the racetrack. 7-speed automatic gearbox. There's just the one gearbox available for your Mercedes AMG GT Coupe, in spite of power output, and yes it's Mercedes familiar 7-speed dual clutch automatic found in other AMG models. That means it's generally a civilized affair with smooth and decisive shifts, even though it doesn't react quite as quickly as we'd like under manual inputs, when you're too slow about the up change there's the possibility you'll run across the limiter, and down changes tend to be met that has a computer says no if your vehicle deems you might be too close to your of limiter. You can come up between comfort, sport and sport plus for your gearbox modes, and GTS cars upwards come with an extra race mode for faster shifts that are tied into the AMG Dynamic Select controller for each of the other drive modes. This is, save for outright power, exactly what the Mercedes AMG GT Coupe is about, also it's greatly the equal of the company's contemporary rivals. Which means in case you fancy something somewhat different to some Porsche 911 or Jaguar F-Type, then and car really should be in your shortlist. On the cars we've driven there's a range of suspension modes to pick from. But even comfort the AMG GT feels stiff, additionally, on the long motorway haul you'll see the expansion gaps within the asphalt, together with white lines and cat's eyes. Stiff but sensational handling. The payoff for this can be near perfect body control when driving the Mercedes on the favorite twist of back road. Body roll is practically non-existent having an almost flat attitude to additional steering lock and acceleration and regardless of this car's weight and comparative size attempting to feels far wieldier as opposed to dimensions might send you to suggest. With accurate but light steering, and also a seating position seemingly just forward of a corner axle, this sports car pivots neatly around your hips and yes it's simple to determine the forces the chassis, and people chunky rear tires, I in work against. In the dry grip is impressive. Though a huge right foot rounder bend soon reminds you in this car's potency and capability to surprise. That said Holo is equipped with electronic stability control and you may run using this fully engaged, maybe in sport mode to relieve its electronic noose on proceedings, this halfway house allowing greater exploitation of the automobile before it cuts in and reigns inside the fun. Turn it the many way off along with the AMG GT reveals itself like a hot rod tire smoker from the highest order and is particularly great fun for the people confident enough for more information on its abilities to normal. Clever Chassis Technology All versions possess a locking differential on the back axle, though the standard GT relies on a mechanical differential plus the GTS upwards readily electronic unit instead. They'll help trim your line round most, minimizing unwanted spinning with the inside wheel, nevertheless the electronic product is said to react quicker plus much more effectively. The same may be said with the suspension, GT models get non-adaptive sports dampers, while all versions get AMG ride control adaptive units that permit to SP watch of settings from comfort to rock hard race. All GT coupes will come with with carbon ceramic brakes as standard, that provide decent feel and more impressive stopping power, without having let up in performance for the road. Rear wheel steering on GTS, GTC and GTR. Optional within the AMG GTS and standard on C and R, rear wheel steering helps to make the auto more maneuverable at low speeds so it helps with stability when going more speedily. You can feel this working, without entering too much technical detail, it effectively simulates a far harder tire for the out rear wheel so the auto rolls less commencing corners. Choose the AMG GTS model upwards and there's the choice of dynamic engine and transmission mounts counteracting the natural movement in the components during high-speed cornering to maintain unexpected weight transfer with the minimum. The Mercedes AMG GT Coupe within the racetrack
On circuit, the Mercedes AMG GTS is usually a spectacularly rewarding car, having an agile and fluidly adjustable chassis bolted to a great monster of the engine. The relatively lightweight steering setup does little to inspire confidence when cornering at higher miles per hour, but because of its balance and poise the GTS is still effective at lapping at a relatively good speed. It's surprising how big your vehicle feels when lapping a quick circuit, for instance Goodwood, amplified from the fact you're perched low and should peer along that massive bonnet. We were very impressed together with the electronic intervention with regard to traction and stability control setups. When switching into race mode the Mercedes AMG GTS becomes an angry sounding supercar with impressive cornering capability. See and hear the Mercedes AMG GTS is similar to around the historic Goodwood circuit here. However, we've also driven the GTR for the circuit and still have discovered a vehicle that's a lot more capable than most drivers occasion to claim to become. To say it's lively is definitely an understatement. It's incredibly tail happy driven with the many electrical systems dialed back, but in the event you're carrying this out then it is possible to control the wayward back somewhat together with the racing car spec adjustable traction control system. To utilize this you switch from the standard AMG system altogether after which control the amount intervention you would like via a small rotary knob slightly below the air vents about the dash. For the first thing to strike you, almost literally, when sliding into the motive forces seat with the Mercedes AMG GT Coupe will be the windscreen and ways in which upright it can be. Slim and wide, it provides widescreen pillowbox style view with the world ahead, a global entirely dominated from the ever stretching bonnet on this hot rod sports vehicle. It's a view measured equally in intoxication and trepidation. Not lots of room inside. Close the entranceway and you'll find your fingers pinched between door card and seat side when adjusting some of that settings. It's not an issue, or perhaps a hazard, nonetheless it feels like Mercedes ergonomics masters could have squeezed other millimeters of room to your digits for being entirely comfortable in the area. If you only auto you'll only take action the once anyway, on account of memory settings. It's alright down to the super wide transmission tunnel which extends itself far back into the cabin and pushes occupants for the outside of the vehicle's extremities. It adds to your sense of brutal occasion, but doesn't do much for your driving position given it also offsets the pedals. At least the seat adjusts nice and low in the floor of the automobile. Built for right-hand drive markets? The ergonomics always take a hammering once you begin to take advantage with the variable exhaust gearbox modes or maybe adjust the stereo volume. Those buttons are typically placed for the far side of the transmission tunnel, as you move the adjustable damper button on the motorist side of precisely the same requires double jointed elbows to succeed in such is its proximity for your left hip. The tiny gear lever seems at odds with your vehicle's attitude too. And we still can't get used on the command controller which isn't as intuitive to function as BMW's iDrive or Audi's MMI touch system, in spite of the smartphone's tile input commands. The 8.4-inch tablet's tile screen splits opinion, though for many people we're pleased with its looks, position and clarity whilst the leather-clad dash and Alcantara attire of our test model looked great. Some cheaper feeling switch gear. It's merely a shame some in the switch gear felt somewhat lightweight, the Evans particularly lacking the solid tactility that their appearance suggested, along with the main instruments didn't appear much more special, and much easier to watch. But, for the people issues the Mercedes AMG GT Coupe still feels as though a special place being, by having an ambience, admittedly mostly created because of the view along that wide, flat and long bonnet, that rivals struggle to check. If you want to make certain the Mercedes AMG GT Coupe is just as comfortable it might be, then you'll either should buy the GTS or specify the optional AMG Ride Control Adaptive Dampers for that standard GT model. These allow users from which to choose three pre-selected modes with the suspension's reactions, Comfort, Sport and Sport Plus. Even with this particular system, we've yet to test one on standard suspension, the Mercedes AMG GT Coupe is about the firm side in the comfort scale, possibly exacerbated because of the 19-inch front and 20-inch rear alloy wheels. Plenty of road noise. To be fair though, 
its rivals exhibit much the same ride quality, also it isn't alone in transmitting a good amount of road draw into the cabin on account of wide wheel and tyre combination. It's a race car so you'd expect some engine and exhaust noise, and here the AMG GT performs admirably, settling as a result of a quiet cruise on the constant throttle but emitting a purposeful rumble under hard acceleration. And save for any seat base that didn't offer enough angle adjustment for just one tester, the seats are perfectly comfortable, despite their thin, bucket-like stature. There's ample adjustment, electric, available and being able to beneficial desired position into your memory is useful should you have multiple regular driver. Choose to pay your hard earned on the Mercedes AMG GT along with a large chunk of these cash is going for the heart of your vehicle. The hand-built V8 engine developed with the firm's Affolterbach factory and assembled entirely by anyone. Having declared that, with prices approaching six figures even entry-level Mercedes AMG GT carries a comprehensive a higher level standard equipment. Standard Mercedes AMG GT Coupe Equipment On the outdoors the Mercedes AMG GT is distinguished by 19-inch alloy wheels, silver brake calipers, single louver radiator grille, LED headlamps plus an electrically operated rear spoiler. You'll hear the AMG Performance Exhaust System, which uses butterfly valves with the idea to suppress or amplify the sound from your engine according to situation and driver input. This car is sold with AMG Sports Suspension, a mechanical limited slip differential and carbon ceramic disc brakes. Inside this heated AMG Sports seats finished in black Nappa leather as would be the AMG performance controls, as you move the memory package ensures the steering column and seating positions returns for your saved settings when using your vehicle. Climate control keeps the vehicle at the desired temperature while cruise control takes the stress out of long motorway drives. Entertainment is taken care of from the common online system with a .4 inch color display with CD player, Bluetooth connectivity, DAB radio. 10 GB hard drive for music and external device inputs. There's also SatNav with live traffic information. Standard Mercedes AMG GTS Coupe Equipment Choose the Mercedes AMG GTS model and equipment levels be handed a subtle upgrade, which include an electronic instead of mechanical limited slip differential, an additional drive mode, race, with the AMG Dynamic Select Controller alongside AMG Ride Control Adaptive Damping. A lithium-ion battery fractionally reduces weight too. Inside the tire is trimmed in leather and alcantara, while beyond the GTS is distinguished by larger brakes and red lettering about the calipers. The rear wheels grow by an inch to 20 inches in diameter too. Standard Mercedes AMG GTC Edition 50 Coupe Equipment When it turned out introduced in 2017, the GTC had rear wheel steering as standard along that has a 57mm wider rear enabling wider wheels. It got 19 inch front and 20 inch rear wheels along which has a Burmester subwoofer, parking sensors, a reversing camera, keyless ignition, a leather tire and red brake calipers. Standard Mercedes AMG GTR Coupe Equipment The range topping GTR was already released at a similar time because the GTC and had exactly the same wide body however with further aerodynamic modifications to the leading bumper and also the introduction of the active rear spoiler. It also got a carbon fiber roof, yellow brake calipers, sports bucket seats and also a high performance tire trimmed in Alcantara type material. Optional Mercedes AMG GT Coupe Extras As is usual with Mercedes AMG products. You may dig deep and personalize your Mercedes AMG GT model with a good amount of optional extras including single options and package additions. The premium package adds a reversing camera, panoramic sunroof, Burma store upgraded speakers, keyless go and parktronic parking assist. Four AMG interior trim packages can be obtained, while seven different alloy wheel designs cater for just a wide range of tastes. The AMG Dynamic Plus package has dynamic engine and gearbox mounts to heighten control at extreme speeds while you'll be able to clad that monstrous engine in carbon fiber should you wish to showcase your bay. In fact the AMG carbon fiber package extends to far more than that, as you move the night package changes the surface trim to high shine black. 
Optional Mercedes AMG GTR Coupe Extras. No amount of our specific options were provided in 2017, like the track package consisting of a four point harness, fire extinguisher, and roll cage finished in black or exactly the same color since the body at further cost. There's a higher performance ceramic braking system being offered, better seats including a memory function and heating, and green hell magno paint, a unique launch color with the GTR. It's unlikely to ever be tested by your own cap because of its low volume nature, but Mercedes AMG GT Coupe safety factors likely for being rated highly, the firm simply doesn't make unsafe cars. And while many cars put up with the driver's side knee bag, the AMG GT even has one around the passenger side. There's front and side airbags, head and pelvis, for both occupants too. Should you need to avoid an impact inside the first place there's carbon ceramic brakes fitted as standard, alongside adaptive brake assist to improve reaction times and pedal pressure under extreme situations. Traction and stability control should allow you to keep your AMG GT for the blacktop too. And in case you're failing to pay attention the driving assistance package includes adaptive cruise control and collision prevention assist plus and also lane keeping assist and blind spot assist. The pre-safe system anticipates any impact which enables it to pre-tension the seatbelts, move the passenger seat into a safer position and close the windows too. You'll must put your kit from the boot, as space within the cabin is distinctly lacking, the glove box is small and also the door pockets ridiculously slim. There's some cup holders forward in the gear lever, as well as a small lidded cubby behind it, but after those that's your lot. And while there's ample head and legroom, the wide transmission tunnel, thick pillars and shallow window screen may make the cabin feel claustrophobic for occupants. The GT Coupe is an easy and simple car to park. It's a large car and you're sat surprisingly low down, meaning you'll struggle to see the corners of this incredibly long bonnet. The windscreen pillar is extremely wide too, and it also is challenging to see much out in the back window. The precise height and width of your GT depends within the specification. The faster models, the GTC and GTR, possess a bigger gap relating to the wider rear wheels for better traction, are lower and still have extended bodywork for improved aerodynamics. This means they're wider, longer and lower as opposed to standard GT Coupe. However, the more expensive models will come with with parking sensors and also a reversing camera as standard which fits some method to alleviating this concern. If you're aiming to regularly carry many luggage might we recommend a Mercedes-Benz E-Class Estate could be a better bet, but in case you're dreaming about just an extended weekend away Mercedes AMG GT practicality might surprise you. For a start this sleek coupe is endowed using a large tailgate plus a long, flat 285 litre boot space. Forgo the use from the luggage cover and pack it on the window and you'll add another 65 litres compared to that tally. It's worth noting folding a corner seats of an Porsche 911 and with all the extra space provided causes it to become slightly more capacious, and also the AMG GT is really a strict two-seater only.